So a lot of people keep asking me my opinion about the new AMD Ryzen laptops for music production. That's what this video is about. Let's go. What is going on guys, DJ Av here, and if you're a new guy, please subscribe. If you like this type of tech news and these type of discussions, well, I like to do this a lot on my channel, and yeah. So, AMD, Ryzen, the new laptops, the G14, I looked at it, the Asus, ROG, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I am very impressed. And I will have a link in the description box to a video of a full review. And actually, I thought about getting the G14 laptop, there's some reasons why I will let you know in a, a little bit of why I didn't get it over my Lenovo Y540, which is an Intel processor, but nonetheless, it ain't because of performance because AMD's new Ryzen laptops are very, very strong and Intel should be worried <laughs> for a lot of reasons. So make sure that you look in the information in the description because there are some things that other channels like Jarrett Tech has explained and many others and you can find out more and I'll do that in this video as well. So the first thing we gotta look at is Cinebench scores because that is how you judge how fast the CPU is, at least in simulation. So basically, we're gonna know how fast that CPU is against in other Intel. So it's been tested here. So we're gonna look at multiple sources and I have this linked in the description box. So the Alienware Area 51M R1. So that laptop with the Core i9, a 9900K, uh, the GeForce RTX 2080, but we're talking about CPU here. It's the only one that really tops the Asus ROG Zyphorus G14 Ryzen 9 4900H. That is crazy. And what's under that is the Acer Predator Helios uh, 700 with the Core i9. This is insane. This is insane now. So I ain't even got to read anything else. So that's impressive. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the temp generation. <laughs> and things just get worse because if we look at the sentiment scores provided by Jared Tech, which I highly recommend subscribing to him if you are into tech just like how I am, because you're watching this channel, we talk about music tech, he talks about gaming tech and laptops. So yeah, rise of nine again. I mean, bravo. I mean, the the... 10th generation is above it, just a tad bit, just a tad bit. But who's gonna really care about it being a tad bit over when you have price point to argue about? So if the new Intel 10th gen is only a bit faster than the Ryzen 9, but if the Ryzen 9 is cheaper, <laughs> bruh, ain't nobody gonna buy Intel shit this year. So the next question is, what has this new Ryzen processor? this Asus ROG Zyphorus G14, and there's a lot of relevant things. Now, I almost bought this over my Lenovo Y540 17-inch, and there's a couple of reasons why I didn't, but none of it, it was related to performance. So the Zyphorus G14 here, and then you start to see some of the cool things. It has a really cool chassis, by the way, and there are reviews that are out, and if I link it in the description box, you'll be able to dig in and see for yourself here. It's sporting the GeForce RTX, and you can get multiple different configurations for this. Uh, this is a 14 inch laptop windows, of course. And yeah, it's gonna be banging. And it has a whole bunch of reviews here. Again, Jared Tech, I'm glad they actually used him or did they not as a reference? But either way, nonetheless, you can still see it. But, but as you can see, they're going for style. They're going for style and power. And, and, and that's a great way to advertise your laptop and I am very excited for this. I mean, I really was going to, I really was about to buy this laptop over the Lenovo Legion, N nonetheless. But again, my only reason why I didn't buy it, it was because of the actual keyboard itself, not having a numpad. And I want to say that because I know Asus still watches my channel, even though I've never been sponsored by Asus ever. Uh, they watch my channel, they comment it, and they ask me, how do I like my laptop? And I love my old Asus ROG, but it had a numpad, it had a whole bunch of other things too as well, but this design is really good. Um, the other thing about this is the screen itself uh, is only has a refresh rate of 120 hertz, but having a high, high refresh rate only matters when you can run games at a certain frame rate, because otherwise you wouldn't even notice the difference. I'm just saying, for those who don't know. But you can see 
just by looking at the design of it, this is, they're not only aiming for Intel, they're just aiming for MacBook altogether. Like the MacBook heads right now, if, no, no disrespect towards the Apple gang out there, because I know you guys rock with me as well, but when you have something like the Zypherus G14 that has a dedicated GPU, which means that you can do some great, great streams, video editing, etc., etc. man, like, uh, it, it starts to blur the lines. And if this is around a certain price point of like $1,500, uh, you're going to start wondering why did I even buy this uh, MacBook? Unless you're really into the OS, which I, I totally get that. I'm not trying to make this about Apple versus uh, Windows because I, I totally get what most people don't get. But the dedicated graphic card is the biggest story because they're rocking with NVIDIA instead of rocking with themselves. A lot of people don't like the AMD uh, graphic cards. I'm a, always been a damn GeForce fan. I know, I'm sorry. But other than the fact, yeah, you got a 2060, which is good. And the only thing I'm really curious about is what other laptop companies are gonna do with this Ryzen 9 processor. Cause holy crap. So I got another reference here and it's again, it's Jared Tech. And I want you guys to check out, again, I want you guys to check out his channel. He He's really dope. I really like his flavor when it comes to his reviews. Uh, and he's talking about the Asus G14 review here. And this is the Shadow of Tomb Raider uh, at high settings. This is the scores for this. And you can see right here in silent mode with the fans, because for those who don't understand, if you're playing games or if you're editing and stuff like that, like sometimes your CPU's performance will jump up. Like it'll start to speed up or start to heat up rather. And then your thermals get really high, then your fans start spinning to cool down your laptop. But overall, that affects your performance of your computer. Like you'll start to drop frames, uh, start losing battery life because if you're gonna have it unplugged, of course, uh, yeah, so that affects that and other things too as well. It affects performance. So in silent uh, running Shadow of Tomb Raider, <laughs> 59 frames per second. That is impressive as hell, no doubt. No doubt. One thing I want to reflect on is compatibility. And AMD has a compatibility issue with Serato. I got an official statement from Serato right here. And I'm not even going to read the problems with PCs with using AMD processors, because if you go to note, it says most of these issues do not appear to affect the modern AMD CPU series, such as Ryzen. So <laughs> Ryzen's in the building. Hey. So tell me how you feel about this, guys. I definitely want to hear about you. Uh, are you thinking about getting the AMD Ryzen laptop? Because I think now is the time more than ever. I think that uh, AMD is starting to understand the concept and they already have great price points for the specs that they have. And I know um, I know the new 10th generation Intel processors are out now and a lot of people are starting to weigh in with their benchmarks and their scores. And, and you're starting to see if you look at those videos that are linked out in the description box, that it isn't that much more of a performance. And that is a huge problem for Intel because if you are charging that much more for the new tech and AMD is giving you something that is hanging on, hanging near and it costs less, guess what's gonna happen to that market share? Well, it's gonna shrink up for Intel. And I'm not saying that Intel is going away anytime soon, but man, if Apple decides to ditch them and they start putting those A12s inside of the MacBooks, which I don't understand, why hasn't Apple done that yet? It must be something about like different thermal issues and stuff like that, that you have to deal with and, or they don't have the parts to build the motherboard or different PCM slots and, or they haven't figured out how to work. It's all, it's a whole bunch that you had to go through uh, when you're starting to build that. But just the demand of how society is working right now, people don't want those big thick laptops and stuff like that. And it makes it very easy to avoid those thermal issues because my Asus ROG, my old one that is, the G56 JKEB, um, it didn't have many thermal issues. It actually ran very well, but the processor obviously is way dated now. It's been five years, but yeah, uh, I wouldn't have dared got it. And also there's things that as far as compatibility is the really the big question with AMD. A lot of developers, they test stuff they develop stuff on Intel processors. So let me know how you feel because that is pretty much my spill bars.